Welcome back to the last video for this series. So in this video we're going to look at how we can distribute this Christmas or this holiday card game that we've made to other people. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to create an executable game so you'll actually only be able to send this to people who have a Windows computer although if you've been doing it on a Mac you can also create it you well if you're on doing it on a Mac you are you'll actually create a Mac app and you can send it to other Mac users unfortunately what we're doing here won't work for phones or tablets um, the reason being is that usually you've got to do like a an app store procedure to or an app store process to get things on tablets and phones um, so whilst Unreal can create things for tablets and phones, uh, it's just due to all the app store processes, it's just a little bit more difficult and we won't be doing that in this video. Okay, so to export as an executable, you will be going to this platforms button here and going to windows. We'll put it on shipping. Uh, in a moment, we're going to package projects, but I'll get you to check one more thing first. So go to edit and choose project settings, choose maps and modes. Now just check that your game default map is set to whatever you called your level, uh, because if it isn't, it will display something else at the start of the game, basically. All right, so mine's set because mine, I called my level Christmas game too, so that's fine. So platforms. Windows, so if you're on a Mac, it will say Mac something or other. Uh, shipping, we're going to go to Package Project. Now, fingers crossed we're not going to get any errors. I'm just going to put it in my Unreal Projects folder. I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it Holiday Card. I'm just going to put EXE after it so I know exactly what it is. I'm going to go Select Folder. It will package the project for Windows. It could take quite a while. If you want to see exactly what it's doing, you can click on the show output log and it will tell you different things. If there are a few errors in there, don't worry too much. Uh, if there are any problems, we'll find out when we actually go to run the game. But I'll, um, this will probably take a while. So I'm just going to close that and I'll fast forward to when it finishes. Okay, I've got a uh, Windows firewall message. I'm going to allow access. Make sure it is Unreal Editor trying to access it. You don't want to accidentally give access to something else. So I'll click allow access on that and it'll probably take a little while longer after that. Now I've got another one of those. So I'll just click allow access again and then I'll pause the video again so you don't just sit through and watch my packaging. I won't so Oh, it says packaging complete, so that is awesome. Didn't seem to need that. So now we're going to check that it actually worked. So I'm going to go to my Unreal Projects folder and I called it Holiday Card EXE. There it is. So you see now there's a Windows folder in here. And this is the file we need to run. So fingers crossed that it works. Double click that. I get that problem every time I run Unreal. I need to fix it at some point. It's looking good. See it full screen, which is pretty nice. All working as intended. Still, I probably could make these images a little bit smaller so they overlap, but at least my husband's not cut out of this one. <laughs> go to the credits, there's our credits list, go back to the card, and we'll check our exit button works. Yay! It all worked. So, we are done. You have created your executable version, but I won't finish here just yet. Let's talk about how you can send this to someone. Unfortunately, there are some issues with sending people executables, so but you can't actually send them just this file anyway. It is very small, 142K, but sending someone this won't be enough. It won't work. You've got to have these other, all these other folders and everything as well. So what we're going to do 
is I'm just going to go up a folder and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to basically compress all of those files into a zip file. So right click on that and I'm going to go send to compressed zip folder. That will take a little while because there's a lot of things in there to compress and include in that file. There we go. Now it's called it windows.zip. I might just change the name of it to holiday card. So there is my zip file. Now that is 162 megabytes. So that's probably too big to email. So what we'll need to do is put it on some kind of file sharing service and then send people a link to that. So I'm just going to show you using Google Drive. So I have created, this is my drive, and I've already created a holiday card exe folder. And I can, if I make these two windows small, I can just drag that into there, or I can just go through the upload file process, but I'm just going to drag it there. That'll take a little while to upload. So my holidaycard.zip has uploaded to my Google Drive. So what I need to do now is get a link to share it. So if I right click and go share or get link is probably the easiest way to do it. Get link. We will say anyone with link. I will copy that link and say done. So I've got that link now. If I now I'm going to I've started an email, I've just composed a new email to my friend at myfriend.com, not an actual email address. Um, I've written an email, I'd like to share this holiday card I made with you. You can download it here. This is where you just paste control V that Google Drive link. I put an instruction with it. So when you down, download the zip file, you'll need to uncompress it and then run. Now for mine, because of what I named mine, mine is called christmascardsample.exe. You put whatever your file name is in there and then put whatever else you want in the email and hit send. And then whoever gets that, they should be able to grab that. So keep in mind, it needs to be someone with the same kind of computer as you and someone who knows how to unzip files and run an exe and that kind of thing. So just make sure you do that. So now, now that you've done that, you can make cards for all different occasions and uh, send them to your friends. But most of all, you've learned just a bit the, the basics of how to use Unreal Engine 5. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you um, enjoyed this series, please like it and please let us know in the comments. Thank you.